Is it a photo or is it a painting? A new exhibit on photorealism opens this Thursday at the Tampa Museum of Art. Curator Seth Pevnik joins us this morning with the details. Good morning. Good morning. I love this exhibit. I'm so excited that this is one I'm definitely going to go check out because I think this is so interesting. This is the kind of art that I uh, love and appreciate. Great. Talk about what this is, what this type of art was, and I want to hear more about the movement. We were kind of starting uh, to talk about right. this well, before the segment started. The, the title of the show is Photorealism, and that's also the title of this sort of movement within the art world. It started in the late 1960s and continues mm -hmm. Till now, so you can see in the subtitle of the show, it's 50 years of hyper-realistic painting, um, still going on today. We're especially excited about it because one of the stars of the show, which we just saw yeah, on so the screen, yeah, so that picture we just opened with, that belongs to the Tampa Museum of Art, and this is a painting called Collins Diner, by by an artist named Ralph Goings. Collins Diner is an actual diner in Northern Connecticut, and Ralph Goings went to the diner and took photographs of it, but then translated those photographs into this great oil painting, which the museum purchased in 1986. It's one of our most important paintings in our collection. And it's been traveling. And it has been traveling. So I think three years ago, the organizers of this exhibition who were in Germany contacted us and said, can we borrow your Ralph Goings painting? And we said, sure, that sounds great. But... Once we learned a little <laughs> bit more about the exhibition, and then we said, well, have you thought about bringing the exhibition to the U.S. and specifically to Tampa? And they said, no, it, it was only going to be a European tour. And so we had to wait a while because they had yeah. various venues lined up in Europe. And we're really excited that we are the final venue mm -hmm. of this exhibition. It's, it's ending in Tampa, opening later this week. And this painting, along with... Yeah, let's, we have some other ones that we're going to show as well. Let's get to those. My goodness. Right. So this is a great painting by an artist named Audrey Flack. Um, she's part of this initial movement of artists that included Ralph Goings, the gentleman I just mentioned. She's one of the first female artists involved in photorealism. And this painting is called Queen. You can see that there's a playing card there uh -huh. that's a queen, um, together with this assortment of other objects. And so... One of the things that photorealist painters were interested in was diners. We saw that. Mm -hmm. They're interested in automobiles. They're interested in motorcycles, lots of reflective surfaces, but also still lifes like this. Mm -hmm. And so the still life is something that painters have done for centuries, and this is sort of a new take on it. And, and then here's beautiful scenery. Here, beautiful scenery. This is a view of Venice, not Venice, Florida, mm -hmm. Venice, okay. Italy, the Grand Canal. <laughs> Um, and this is by a young woman, Raffaella Spence, who is in what we call the third generation mm -hmm. of photorealist painters. Well, and take us back. We have just about a minute left, but take us, uh, give us a little history lesson, if you will. Take us back to that time and talk about what was happening. Photography was changing a lot. Art was changing. Why was right. this movement taking on? So in, in the 1960s, in the art world, mm -hmm. lots of things going on. Um, the ab abstract expressionists are sort of the big kids mm -hmm. on the block. They're setting the tone for what's going on in the art world. And there are various reactions to that or even against that. Um, one of those is pop art. Okay. And another is photorealism that we see here. And as you say, photography is very important at that time. And there's sort of this um, push and pull between painting mm -hmm. and photography. And if you can make a photograph that's a true depiction of what's going on in real why life. Why paint it? Why paint it? And what these painters are saying is it's different from a photograph. And it's tricky when you look at this book, you're looking at a photograph of a painting that is based on a photograph. <laughs> and so it's hard to see yeah. what's going on. But trust me, when you stand in front of the canvas and you see the actual painting, you'll see people looking as closely as possible to see is it a photograph? Is it, it a painting? Oh, and they're all it. paintings. It. Well, again, the exhibit starts uh, this Thursday, going to be going on for a couple of months, so there's plenty of time to go and see it. Thank you so much for coming in today. You're and again, welcome. I can't wait to go check it out myself. Thanks for having me. We'll make sure and put all the info on our website as well.